Hey guys, Brian Davis here. I am the co-founder of sparkrental.com. We help people reach financial independence with real estate. So what we try to do is to help people replace their nine to five job income with passive income from real estate investments, whether that be rental properties or raw land, uh, even real estate crowdfunding investments. And to do that, we provide people with both education and we also provide property management software to help people automate their rental property management. So we are very passionate about financial independence. I am personally on, on the, the track to reach financial independence in a couple of years. And, you know, everyone that I've ever met who has reached financial independence, they actually don't retire, they continue working, but they end up doing work that's much more meaningful to them, whether it's volunteering or uh, finding a, a job somewhere that is super fun for them, even if it doesn't pay very well, you know, things like uh, pouring wines in a winery or, or writing novels, uh, or many of them go off and start their own businesses or even start their own nonprofits or charities. So we are very passionate about financial independence. So we are, I'm at a point where we live entirely on my wife's salary and benefits. We happen to live overseas. Uh, my wife gets a, a modest salary, but strong benefits. And we live in a, a low cost of living area. Uh, we're in Brazil at the moment. We were in Abu Dhabi before that. Um, and my income has, our goal for my income has always been to invest and try to produce more passive income. Uh, you know, again, in line with uh, our mission at Spark Rental, trying to reach financial independence and help other people reach financial independence. So it takes a lot of the fear out of it when you don't need your entrepreneurial income to survive, when you can live on your partner's income uh, or on other types of income. So for example, at a certain point, I picked up a little bit of freelance writing on the side of Spark Rental during a time before spark rental had turned a profit and my wife started you know nudging me about <laughs> about earning more income so and then i ended up actually enjoying the freelance writing so much that i have continued to do it for five to ten hours a week just because it provides a, a floor to my income but also i enjoy it it's fun so that takes all the fear out of entrepreneurship when you don't need it. You don't need the entrepreneurial income to survive. And you also have a floor to your income from other sources. So it makes a huge difference in eliminating fear. So we do, I do a mix of things as does my, my partner, Denny. Um, so I meditate every day uh, to help with mindfulness that gets you, you know, something, but it doesn't carry the entire load of, of, you know, keeping your mind in the right place and, and motivation, of course. Um, I listen to podcasts every morning as I walk to work. I listen to podcasts uh, as I take my, my toddler daughter on walks um, and when I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. And that helps, you know, some of it is tactical kinds of entrepreneurial podcasts. Some of it is more mindset oriented podcasts. Um, so yeah, I mean, that kind of ongoing education is a, a big component to staying motivated, staying driven and just staying abreast of your field and staying interested in your field and reminding yourself why you are in this in the first place. You know, you should never start a business that you just think is going to be successful without actually having the passion behind it because when the going gets tough, you are going to lose your motivation. You will not stay driven throughout it if you are not truly passionate about the business that you're providing for people. So constantly remind yourself why you do what you do and that will help you stay motivated. So, you know, we covered some of this earlier. To me, it's about not needing a certain amount of, of income from your entrepreneurial venture to survive. Uh, that really takes the fear out of it for me personally. So I would recommend starting a side gig or a side hustle or, or starting your business as a side hustle while you keep your full-time job because you're going to need more time and more money than you expect to get your business off the ground and for it to be profitable. It's just inevitable. It's just the way the universe works. 
entrepreneurs always underestimate both the time and the money commitment that it's going to take to get their business off the ground. So while you're trying to get there, keep other lanes of income open to yourself. Keep your full-time job for a little bit. Uh, keep some of that side gig or side hustle income for a bit until you turn that profit with your, your main entrepreneur venture. So first of all, if you don't know exactly what kind of business you want to start, I actually recommend looking up the, <laughs> this is going to sound gimmicky, but look up the Japanese concept of Ikigai, I-K-I-G-A-I. -I. And what that is about is finding the intersection between what you are passionate about, what you are good at, and what you have you know, knowledge and skills at, uh, what the world actually needs right? And what you can make money at, because the intersection of those four points is your personal zone of genius. And it's really where you stand to make the most impact, both financially and non-financially in the world, you know, impact on your customers, impact on the world in general. So draw up some Venn diagrams of, of where the intersection lies for you personally. And I think you'll find some really interesting uh, ideas for starting a business that you've never considered before uh, and ones that are appropriate to you personally. I think that's a, that's a great place for people to find their true mission in life, um, not just in their business, but also uh, for their, themselves personally. So financially, my definition of success is being financially independent, being able to retire uh, if I wanted to. I don't actually plan on retiring ever. <laughs> um, I'm sure the day will come when I no longer feel like working. But no, I mean, I, Spark Rental, we, I mean, I continue to feel passionate about five and a half years into it. And, you know, the day may come when we sell Spark Rental or we move on, but you know, right now I'm enjoying the challenge of it. Um, I'm enjoying getting out there and helping other people reach financial independence. So yeah, it's not just about the financial element. I mean, I already live a lifestyle akin to financial independence, even though I don't consider myself financially independent yet. You know, I get to spend most of the year overseas with my wife and daughter. Uh, I get to travel internationally, you know, eight to 10 times a year. Um, you know, we have a, we have a great life. So I guess where I would take that in a personal direction is design your own perfect lifestyle and then start implementing it. So read articles on lifestyle design. We have a, a good one at sparkrental.com. Um, but there's, there are plenty of other good articles out on the web on lifestyle design. It's about intentionality and designing your own perfect life based on What's important to you? What are your priorities? Um, because you can't have everything that you want in life, but you can have anything that you want. So go out there and design a life that is meaningful to you. For me, it's being able to travel, you know, have being uh, location independent. I can live anywhere in the world and still make money and I can set my own hours. Um, you know, I've cut back on my hours a little bit recently to spend a little bit more time with, with my, my daughter. So you know, and these are all things that took me a lot of time to put together uh, and, and some work and headaches, but you can do it. I mean, you know, whatever your definition of success is, you know, whatever your ideal lifestyle is, go create it now and make it happen even while you are continuing to work, you know, before you reach financial independence, you can still have that, that fire lifestyle. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'm going to leave that for my definition of success. Uh, once again, Brian Davis from Spark Rental here, and hope you got something out of this video. Look forward to uh, connecting with you. Reach out to me anytime at sparkrental.com.